I'm going to show you five simple tips on how to improve the graphics of your Godot game. Number one, SDFGI. SDFGI is a very good thing for improving graphics in Godot games. This feature generates global illumination for static objects, which we will show in this example. To do this, you first need to create a world environment in your scene, then click SDFGI and click Enable. You may notice that it has made a big difference in the shading of this scene. Also, you can turn on the SSAO feature to make the shadows in the scene darker. Number 2. Anti-Aliasing You may have come across this feature in the settings of many games, but what does this feature actually do? Well, it does that. It smooths out the sharp corners of your 3D models. It is turned on by going to Project Settings, then scrolling down to Anti-Aliasing and setting the Anti-Aliasing quality to higher. I will set it to the highest. Also, it's a good idea to turn on the Screen Space AA feature. If you look at this scene now, you can notice that the corners of this cube are much smoother than before. Number 3. Using a normal map for textures. For example, when you download a texture from Ambient CG, you will get several JPG images, most often named Color, Roughness, Normal, and others. A normal map works by adding artificial shading to the texture, making it look more realistic. So now I'm going to show you how to set the texture for a model with a normal map. First, I drag the JPG named Color under our 3D model. Then, a window opens where I can notice a lot of settings. Between them, there is also a normal map, where I put a texture called Normal. And you can also add Roughness, that adds glossiness to the texture. Now, when I rotate the light in my scene, there's an artificial shadow on the texture. Number 4. This one is only a small type, but it can also improve the way your game looks. Go to World Environment again and click on the Tone Map. There you have four options to choose from choose the one that fits your scene. I use Filmic because it fits my scene of the game. Number 5. This point is more of a recommendation than a feature, but it can play a very important role in creating good graphics in your game. And it's using high-quality 3D models. Not everyone can create good 3D models like me. My peak of 3D modeling was creating a cube in Blender, so it's not bad to use free 3D models. I recommend websites like CG Trader or Sketchfab. When all of these points are put together, it can turn into a nice looking game like this example I created. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope any of these points have been helpful to you. And thank you for watching this video. Bye.